Okay, so there is a big question. What is the difference between genetically modified foods, hybridized, and heirloom? So when we look at heirloom, remember heirloom is, is close as you can get to natural that has not been bent or switched by any type of scientific motions. Apples are only this big. We have an apple tree, a real one. Okay, they're not this big. And remember, you are what you eat. And if you eat hybridized big foods, what do you think happens to you and I? Our cells get big and we get big. So heirloom means that it hasn't been changed. Hybridized means that it's been stretched out to be able to accommodate. And that means all the minerals get stretched out. That means the plant becomes weak and now it starts getting creatures like we talked about. So now we're eating food that has fungus among us in it. That's a problem. Now you have the real bad the worst is GMO, and that means genetically modified organisms. And genetically modified organisms means, really, if we wanted to genetically modify you, you know how we do it? We take your ovaries out of you, and that's it. And now your body has no immune system. Forget the part of the sexuality of what hormones do. Remember, my, my uh, gonads are my testes, and your gonads are your ovaries. And they're all about the size of a medium chicken egg. And so... This is your weaponry for your immune system. And that's what GMO is, is a sterile and unreproducible. It cannot produce itself. It's a controlling way, in my way, to control food supplies. And, you know, whatever way we want to look at it, remember, you are what you eat, and that makes all the difference in the world once you just understand that one phrase. Because if you eat GMO, then you get genetically modified. And if you eat sterile foods, then... Well, the buck doesn't stop. Your cells now start to become genetically modified, and now you become what maybe a lot of people want us to become on this planet. is not so reproductive. Okay? That's what happens. Completely, completely looking at what you're eating and what you're mm -hmm. becoming. Hippocrates, that thy food be thy medicine. Um, repeated in so many texts. Mm -hmm. um, so as above, so below. So you as are what you eat. You are what you eat. Those three simple and terms, if you can just get those, because if you see, all you got to do is you are what you eat, then start eating high vibe foods like we talked about. Then you go, well, where do I get them? And if you yeah. do, oh, it's going to cost you, or they're in, problem is, is they're in small amounts of, like this is our receipt. You can get this in two ounce, one pound, five pound, or thirty pound sizes on everything we have. And it lasts based on the packaging. You bet. And All there's sealable. no sunlight coming in. Nothing changing this um, oxidizing. Exactly. And most of the food that we buy in our glass or plastic bottles, are, it gets oxidized. And so it winds up being a chemical mm -hmm. that's harmful for you, along with eating these um, DNA thrown on top of DNA foods that we are now being and consuming. Let me just put this in the light. Look at this beauty. Woohoo! You want to drink yourself to a higher tune? Then you take our blue green algae and you put this one scoop in here and you put it in the, shake it up, put it in the refrigerator because it loves the cold. Crack the top because it is alive. Okay? And in one and a half days, you get this blue and see the purple when it hits the prism? So you're drinking the highest tune possible. And since you are a liquidarian, this would be very smart. Every day, I drink two of these a day. And uh, my body has to take this tune. Remember, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. This is these tunes in here. And it has to, when I urinate, I don't have this tune go outside my body. So my body had to transmutate this energy because everything is energy. So this is very super smart because we talk about hydrating the body with the right fluids and eating very sparingly the right foods. And are we going to have some of this on, at our 1010 10, oh, 10 yeah. event? Of are you going to demonstrate how to make some of, of this stuff? These, For sure. Oh, thank you so much. We all got to start from ground zero, no matter even if you think you're advanced. I always tell people, guys, we went to the Raw Spirit Fest over the weekend. I did a little talk over and I said, how many people here in this audience have been penetrated by the dentist? How many people? And then a lot of people are going, well, I just, you know, just in your mouth, guys, okay? You know, just, we're just talking about how many holes have you had drilled? And then most of the people still have mercury, lead, and tin in their mouth. Yeah. Or they've changed their, their mouth to porcelain. And the porcelain's aluminum oxide, and that's not too good either. So what I did was I had to go ahead and change mine over, and I changed them over to crystals. So we're just sharing sort of some of our sojourn, yeah. and we don't really want, do you want your friends to trip? No, we want to share what we see, and and everybody does take a shower. Do you have a zinc copper shower to chlorinator? Yeah.
Do you make your own water or do you buy your water at the store in plastic? And when you can make 100 gallons a day for nothing. Yeah. I make my own water. So here's my little water thing here. Just yeah. make a six-stage RO system. And uh, all the water that comes out of here, 100 gallons a day, is made. And then I remineralize it with uh, sole salt and magnesium chloride. I make my own salt. And put a few crystals in my water with uh, a meteorite or a lodestone. And then you've got yourself... The closest you can get to spring water. Very easy. Oh, Very good. Beautiful, Robert. Thank you so much. Uh, and you're welcome. we're looking forward to seeing you at 10 10. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> looking forward to it. Thank okay. you. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you, you, Doctor.